Welcome to the channel. This is a high miles review of a 2004 Nissan Maxima. This Nissan Maxima has 185,000 miles on it. I usually do cars with over 200,000 miles for my high miles reviews, but I don't think this one's gonna make it to 200,000. Let's take a walk around the outside. First things first, as we start off here, you can see that the headlights all have normal um, oxidation over time, not anything too particular there. You can pretty much ignore all the dings and dents, um, but as we get back to this wheel well, you'll see that we, this is a northeastern car, and uh, we do have some rust developing, so if you're in that area, not in the southern um, part of the country, that's a good note that you're probably going to have some rust issues popping up. As we move towards the back, you'll see that we have some more uh, dings and dents there as normal for the age, although this one probably is a little bit more excessive than most vehicles from this time. You can see the sunroof up on top. This is the 3.5 liter SE model. And as we come around to the other side, you'll see even more rust starting at the rear rocker panel, um, quarter panel as well there. As we're moving towards the front, this is the first year of the new um, generation of Nissan Maxima. They redesigned it for the 2004 model year and really brought the car up into the 21st century looks wise. Other than the rust issues that I've already pointed out, there's no big um, paint wear or other issues that aren't caused by um, you know, more normal contact with other cars, poles, and other things that I can't blame any of it on Nissan. Um, all of the paint has held up pretty well, um, considering the age and miles on the car. Now that we've taken our walk around the outside, it's time to uh, start her up, uh, take a look at some of the mechanics, and this is where it's going to get fun. One thing I am impressed with with the 3.5 liter motor is power. It actually is a pretty powerful little engine, especially for 2004. Um, it was rated at 265 horsepower and 255 pound-feet of torque, which for that age was not bad numbers at all. Now I'm not sure exactly how much it shows up on video here and how much you can hear it, um, but this vehicle does have the dreaded Nissan 3.5 liter timing chain noise. Uh, once it warms up, it's not quite as bad, and I did drive this car a little bit before the review, um, and uh, it, when I first started it up and it was cold, it rattled like crazy. So I'm guessing that this 3.5 liter doesn't have a lot of time left in it before, uh, you know, it jumps time and probably blows the motor. Now, timing chain issues are the most common issue that I have heard for the Nissan Maxima. I'm no Nissan expert. I will tell you all that right now. Um, but timing chain issues are the ones that I've seen a lot on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, all the used ones. You can pretty readily find the 3.5 liter um, for sale with blown motors and timing chain issues. Um, that being said, that's not, kind of, that's not where the issues stop. This one... Um, also has some transmission issues, which are pretty common as well. Now, the transmission has not failed on this car yet, um, and I don't know that it will, um, but it is very jerky in and out of gear, as well as just shifting up through the gears. It does everything very roughly. Um, it torque steers a lot. Um, some of that could be attributed to a possible broken motor mount, um, which is another issue that's pretty common with these cars. Um, but jerky transmissions, rather than transmission failures, um, is the most common problem, and so definitely something to look out for if you're in the market for one of these cars. That pretty much touches the most common mechanical issues. I've heard of other little things as far as power steering leaks and things like that. Uh, not near as common as the other two issues that I just mentioned, but are some things that if you have the chance to put the car up on the lift before you buy it that you're going to want to take a look at. Um, another big thing um, that this car also suffers from um, is... There is a leaky AC line. Some of the AC fittings um, develop leaks over time, um, and this is no exception. It, uh, there's no AC. It's very, very hot inside this car if you want to drive it in July like it is right now, and you'll sweat like I am sweating. 
With that stuff being said, I think it's time to close the hood and we're gonna move on to the inside. As we walk up here to open the door, you'll see that this is a completely loaded up model and is one of the highlights of this vehicle is how many features they actually had in this car for 2004. You'll see here are buttons for heated steering wheel as well as fold-in mirrors. If you're in the city, that is a great option. Um, normal things like uh, automatic up and down windows. Um, it does have Bose stereo. Um, just some very nice touches, heated seats. Um, really some nice stuff for the year of this car. Now, as you just saw when I showed the window switches, you'll see that there's a very peculiar material lining the inside of this car. I would call it knockoff sham wow. Um, it is a suede supposed to like look alike. Um, it looks like one of the drying chamois from your um, cleaning set for your car. It has not aged well. Actually, in my opinion, um, the interior of this car, the design overall, the materials and everything used has not aged well. Um, it looks very dated and like it's from at least 2004 or maybe a little bit earlier than that. The driver's seat has shown some decent wear, but no rips or tears to speak of in it. Um, just some issues with the bolstering. Pretty much average, I would say, for any car from 2004 with 185,000 miles. As we move to the back seat, you'll see that we have very nice leg room um, and overall space for your rear, rear passengers. Um, although, surprisingly, the, Alta, or the Maxima is not much bigger than um, the smaller Nissan car, the Nissan Altima. You'll also see that the rear uh, pockets have also pretty much ripped out over time as well. And when we look back past the rear seat itself and in through the rear glass, you'll see that all of the plastic, it appears, has broken away over time um, just from becoming brittle from the heat blaring in on um, the rear speaker covers. Now, as we finish up the inside, I wanna to touch on all the electronics and everything like that inside. Radio um, still plays great. Um, locks, unlocks, all of that works fine. Like I said earlier, the AC does not work. No airbag or other lights like that that would reflect any other interior electronic issues. Um, one thing I did wanna mention is the window regulators. You'll see the switch is on right now. And uh, if I close this door, nothing happens. So we have one bad window regulator in the driver's door and the rear one on the passenger side, you'll just have to take a listen to here. So obviously that window needs some grease as well. Um, let's get out of here and wrap up this review. So these Nissan Maximas are now probably running somewhere between the two to $5,000 range, depending on the miles and condition. Obviously this is a rougher example, but you're gonna find a lot of them that have worn just like this one. If you're in the market for one, just keep in mind all the issues that I mentioned, do some research of your own, look on um, Edmonds and car gurus, look up some of the common problems and always have a trusted mechanic uh, take a look at it before you buy. Now you're probably wondering, would I recommend if you should purchase this car? And the answer is no. This is not the best car for your money, even in that under $5,000 price range. There's a lot of better cars out there and they're not hard to find. Unfortunately, there's not just one issue with these cars. From the engine issues, the timing chain issues that are very common, as well as the transmission issues, and overall fit and finish um, and wear quality, is not up to the standard of its other Japanese rivals. In my opinion, there's just a lot better ways to spend your money in this price range. There's a lot of better options out there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Have a great day.